Sometimes choosing a sunscreen that will not leave a white cast or make you look purple can be a difficult task for people with dark skin or caramel skin. As a result of this, I have carefully and in-depthly made my research on 5 good sunscreens that will not leave a white cast on your skin and you can make use of these sunscreens on your face and your body. And in the process of making you feel reassured about this sunscreen, I will be showing you videos of dark skinned ladies applying each of these sunscreens and then finally I will be explaining to you which skin type each of these sunscreens screens are best for. So loves, let's get right into the video. Now the first sunscreen on my list is the Bondi Sand Daily Moisturizing Face and also moisturizing sunscreen lotion so the daily moisturizing face um sunscreen has an spf of 50 plus in it but the daily moisturizing sunscreen lotion has an spf of 50 in it now each of these sunscreens can be made use of on the face and on the body now some of the key ingredients that we're using manufacturing this um bondi sand um sunscreen we have aloe vera and um, we have high hyaluronic acid we have vitamin e and we have avobenzone of three percent and we also have octocrylin of um, 8%. Now, I'm very sure you might not understand what avobenzone is or octocrylin is. Now, when you see avobenzone on um, your sunscreen, avobenzone simply means um, it's actually a chemical agent that helps provide um, proper UVA protection. And UV rays are those rays that tend to lead more to um, skin cancer and also aging. But now, the problem with avobenzone is that um, avobenzone is not stable um, when exposed to sunlight. So, which means when you apply sunscreen that contains only avobenzone in it if you go out in sunlight they tend to like um degrade and become um less active fast so because of this reason why um avobenzone um tends to be less active when exposed to sunlight so this is the reason why octocrylin is important now this sunscreen contains avobenzone of three percent and it also contains octocrylin of eight percent now octocrylin um is a skincare ingredient that actually helps to like stabilize avobenzone okay now when you're making use of a um, product that contains octocrylin it is very important that you um try to look out for what is the percentage of um, octocrylin in this sunscreen because the safest percentage of octocrylene and um, by the fda is 10 percentage so which means going for a sunscreen that contains more than 10 percent of octocrylene is going to be bad on your skin which is going to damage your skin now as we as i said before that this bondi sand um sunscreen contains eight percent of octocrylene so which means the percentage of octocrylene in this sunscreen is high so which means it is high enough to like um stabilize avobenzone and at the same time it is not more than 10 percent in a way that it is going to like damage your skin so which means that this bondi sand um, sunscreen is a good choice that you can make use of now this sunscreen is purely a chemical sunscreen as i have explained talking about avobenzone in it avobenzone being a chemical um ingredient a chemical agent in sunscreens so this sunscreen also call, um, offers broad spectrum protection to your skin it helps protect your skin from uva and uvb rays so this is something i love about this sunscreen now this sunscreen is fragrance free and paraben free so if you're someone that hates fragrance in your um, sunscreens then you're rest assured that this sunscreen is a nice one you can try out now this sunscreen gives a dewy look and it won't make you sweat um, when you apply this sunscreen so this is just a video of a lady applying a dark skin lady applying um, this Bondi Sand sunscreen to understand the way this sunscreen actually looks like on the skin this is my favorite sunscreen in this life this is the Bondi Sand sunscreen lotion this is the most amazing sunscreen I've used for dark skin it's so people love skin friendly and it blends the way it blends into the skin is so unexplainable it gives you that glass glow effect like just imagine a sunscreen giving you the glass glow effect i've tried so many sunscreens in the past when you see this one ain't nobody bad that done <sighs> can you see how it just blending immediately most sunscreens you have to like wait for them to oxidize into the skin before you really the white cast really goes up but this just blends in immediately like so as you can see from this video now that and um, this sunscreen does not actually leave a white cast on the skin so which means this bondi sand sunscreen is a good choice um 
for for dark skinned ladies now apart from the fact that this sunscreen does not leave a white cast on the face or make your skin look purple now this sunscreen doesn't sting the eyes okay so if you have sensitive eyes and you're scared of sunscreens that you make use of that will start stinging your eye this bondi sand doesn't sting the eye now another thing again is that this sunscreen is water resistant so which means um during raining season if you're looking for a good sunscreen you can make use of that maybe when you go outside and rain start falling you would not be worried that this sunscreen is going to wash off from your face and then probably start entering into your eyes and making um your whole face look whitish then this bondi sand is a good sunscreen you can make use of because it is actually um water resistant now this sunscreen is very moisturizing um which actually blends well into the skin without leaving you white cast as you saw from that video so yes this sunscreen is a very moisturizing sunscreen so because of this sunscreen is very moisturizing now which skin type is this sunscreen best for now this sunscreen is more preferable for people with dry skin it is good for people with sensitive skin and it is also good for people with normal skin now why is it good for people with dry skin it is good for people with dry skin because it is very moisturizing okay this sunscreen is moisturizing it will help you to moisturize your skin properly now why is it good for people with sensitive skin it is good for people with sensitive skin because one it does not sting the eyes and two it does not contain fragrance three also it does not contain paraben so this is the reason why it is good for people with sensitive skin now which skin type is this sunscreen not good for now if you have a um an oily skin if you have an acne prone skin or maybe you have a combination skin i would advise you that you shouldn't make use of this sunscreen because this sunscreen can be too moisturizing for your oily skin so you don't want something that will add more to the oiliness on your skin so this is the reason why this bondi sand is not a good option for oily skin acne prone skin and combination skin now for the size of this um sunscreen so for the um face for the face sunscreen it is the size is 75 ml like i said before the face one can actually be used on the face and on the body now this brand also has the body own that is the moisturizing lotion sunscreen now for that one it is actually 150 ml now for the body one the body one is like more thicker compared to the face one so if maybe um making use of the body one will be a better option for you then fine you can make use of the body one because the body one is bigger the body one is 150 ml while the face one is 75 ml so this is one of the sunscreen you can make use of and it will not leave a white cast on your face now the next sunscreen on my list is this super goop on scene sunscreen now this sunscreen has an spf of 40 in it now there's something i also want to chip in um, which i forgot to say in the beginning of this video and that is if you're going for sunscreen um Try as much as possible to go for sunscreen that is not less than SPF 30, okay? So if you're picking sunscreen, it should be sunscreens from SPF 30 and above. So this is the reason why I made sure that I don't give you all any sunscreen that is less than SPF 30. As a matter of fact, it is this super group that has the least um, SPF in it. And this super group contains um, SPF 40 in it. Now coming to the key ingredients in this sunscreen. Now this sunscreen contains avobenzone in it of 3%. Like I talked about avobenzone. This sunscreen also contains octocrylin, which is very important in sunscreens that have avobenzone in order for this octocrylin to like stabilize this avobenzone so that the avobenzone can be effective or the sunscreen can be effective in protecting you from um, sunlight. Now, the percentage of octocrylin that is found in this sunscreen is 4 percentage. Now, this sunscreen is also contains shea butter, which is an emollient, and then this sunscreen contains emboba esters. Now, this sunscreen is a lightweight sunscreen. Um, it has a jelly like um texture okay and this sunscreen also blends well into the skin now this is something i love about this sunscreen i have actually made use of this sunscreen before well it was it was not um personally my own sunscreen it was actually a friend's um sunscreen that i made use of so i actually know how this sunscreen feels on the skin and this sunscreen actually has this jelly like feel it's actually clear like the, the um the way the sunscreen actually looks like it is actually very clear now this sunscreen is purely a chemical sunscreen also and this sunscreen is fragrance free which i can testify to that it is colorless this sunscreen is oil free like i talked about before and this sunscreen is also alcohol free so this is something about this sunscreen that i love and yes this sunscreen is water resistant so this is just a dark skinned lady applying um this super group sunscreen
so yes this is what this sunscreen actually looks like when applied on the skin as you can see that this sunscreen doesn't leave a white cast on the skin neither is it going to like make you feel oily or greasy now another thing about this sunscreen that i love is that um this sunscreen can be used as a makeup primer and yes of course this sunscreen can be used as a makeup base so this sunscreen is not a sunscreen that when you apply it on your skin it begins to peel on your skin okay no this sunscreen does not actually peel on the skin now for the skin type of this sunscreen so this sunscreen is actually good for oily skin it is good for combination skin this sunscreen is good for acne prone skin okay and this sunscreen is also good good for um sensitive skin so as you saw from that video that this sunscreen actually leaves a matte finish on the face so this sunscreen does not like um make your face feel oily or greasy so this is the reason why this sunscreen is good for oily skin acne prone skin and combination skin now for sensitive skin the reason why this sunscreen is good for sensitive skin is because this sunscreen is um fragrance free and this sunscreen is also like um alcohol free now for the size of this sunscreen this sunscreen comes in a 50 um, ml size so yes this is the size of this sunscreen so this sunscreen um it is most advisable that you just make it on this sunscreen on your face okay so this sunscreen is not like suitable for body use so this is just like a face sunscreen that you can make use of so the first sunscreen i mentioned which was the bondi sand that one can be used on the face and on the body but this super group it is just preferable you just make use of this sunscreen on the face because of the way this sunscreen feels it's not so moisturizing and also because of its small quantity now the next sunscreen on my list is the black girl sunscreen kids yes like this sunscreen here this sunscreen is a very very nice sunscreen i'm very sure you might have heard about black girl before like they have a lot of their sunscreen range so this one is their sunscreen kids they also have um their black girl normal sunscreen which contains spf 30 in it they have black girl sunscreen make it match and they also have black girl sunscreen make it hybrid so after my research about these black girl sunscreens and their different range i came to the conclusion that the sunscreen with um for these kids that is the black girl sunscreen kids is like the best out of all of them now so yes the third sunscreen on my list is the black girl sunscreen kids now for the key ingredients this sunscreen has shea butter in it and shea butter actually helps to like moisturize and soften um dry skin and yes this sunscreen also contains jojoba oil in it which helps to like reduce redness and it's jojoba oil also helps to like um it also helps with eczema and rosacea so this sunscreen also contains um carrot seed oil which um carrot seed oil actually contains vitamin a and e in it so which means that this one screen contains vitamin a it contains vitamin e and this is due to the presence of carrot seed oil in it so these are some of the key ingredients that are found in this sunscreen now this sunscreen is a chemical um sunscreen yes this sunscreen is also very moisturizing and it actually has a thick consistency okay so the consistency of this um sunscreen is actually like thick now this sunscreen is fragrance free and it is also paraben free so if you don't like sunscreen that contains fragrance in it this black girl sunscreen kits is a good option you can try out now this um black girl sunscreen kits can be used on the face and also on the body and this sunscreen does not sting the eye now this is something i love about the sunscreen so yes apart from how moisturizing this sunscreen seems to be this sunscreen does not actually sting the eye so this is the video of a lady actually applying um this black girl sunscreen kits So as you can see the way this sunscreen actually feels like on the skin this sunscreen is actually moisturizing on the skin and it actually does not leave a white cast um on the skin and another thing about this sunscreen is that this sunscreen is actually water resistant and it is um, actually water resistant for up to like 80 minutes now what skin type is this sunscreen best for so if you have a dry skin you have a normal skin or you have a sensitive skin you can actually try out this black girl sunscreen kit so this sunscreen is very good it's very suitable for like people with dry skin normal skin why because it is very moisturizing now it is also suitable for people with like um, a sensitive skin and uh, because this sunscreen does not contain fragrance in it and it also does not like sting the eyes okay so this is the reason why this sunscreen is suitable for normal dry skin and um sensitive skin now if you have an oily skin acne prone skin combination skin it's advisable you don't make use of this sunscreen okay um this sunscreen is very moisturizing yes this sunscreen is very very moisturizing so you don't want a sunscreen that you feel too oily or too greasy on your skin you know a sunscreen that will now start breaking you out you don't want that type of sunscreen so this black girl sunscreen kits is not a good option for people with um oily skin or an acne prone skin or even um a combination skin and finally the size of this sunscreen um is 89 ml okay so this is the size of this sunscreen the sunscreen is pretty big so these are just some things you need to know about um this 
black girl sunscreen kids now before we get right into the next sunscreen please if this video has been helpful to you if you've been enjoying this video please give my video a very big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified when next i upload a new video so i upload my videos every wednesdays and sundays and by 4 p.m so 4 p.m on wednesday and 4 p.m on sundays now the next sunscreen on my list is the neutrogena hydro boost water gel um lotion sunscreen yes this um sunscreen here so this sunscreen contains an spf for 50 in it okay so neutrogena actually um produces a very nice um sunscreen okay neutrogena produces nice products so this is their sunscreen and this sunscreen is a very good choice this particular neutrogena sunscreen is a good choice for people um with color that is people with dark skin and caramel skin complexion now for the key ingredients in this um neutrogena sunscreen it contains um oxybenzone okay so this sunscreen contains 4.5 percent of oxybenzone this sunscreen also contains octocrylene of nine percentage this sunscreen also contains um, avobenzone of 2.7 um, percentage now this sunscreen also contains glycerin and it also contains hyaluronic acid now glycerin and hyaluronic acid actually helps to like moisturize the skin so this sunscreen is purely a chemical sunscreen okay now the um, consistency of the sunscreen this sunscreen has a light um liquid consistency and it is actually refreshing on the skin now this sunscreen also like absorbs well into the skin and it also moisturizes the skin very very well so this sunscreen is very moisturizing so if you're looking if you also want a good sunscreen that is moisturizing you can also try out this neutrogena um sunscreen now when you apply this sunscreen on your skin um the way your skin actually feels like this sunscreen gives your skin this shiny glowy um jelly like um effect and when you actually apply this sunscreen on your skin so um to for you to understand what i'm actually talking about this is also a video of a dark skinned lady applying this um neutrogena hydro boost water gel lotion sunscreen So as you can see that this sunscreen is actually like it actually blends well into the skin and this sunscreen does not like leave a white cast on the skin okay so this is just what the sunscreen looks like when applied on a dark skin or a caramel skin complexion now this sunscreen is also water resistant and it is water resistant for up to like um 80 minutes now this sunscreen this is something you also need to know about this sunscreen okay this sunscreen contains fragrance in it i know i've been mentioning sunscreens that does not contain fragrance in it but this neutrogena actually contains um fragrance in it so if you're someone that doesn't like fragrance in your product then this neutrogena sunscreen might not be a good option for you um i've actually listed three other sunscreens which you can try out but this neutrogena sunscreen has fragrance in it but if maybe some um, fragrance in sunscreen does not like affect you or fragrance in your product does not affect you then fine you can make use of this neutrogena um sunscreen now another thing i need to point out about the sunscreen and this is the con about the sunscreen this is like the negative thing about the sunscreen and that is this sunscreen actually sting the eye so if you want to make use of this sunscreen just try as much as possible to not apply the sunscreen around your eye area okay so it is not going to sting your eyes but you can apply it on every other aspect of your face or on your body yes this sunscreen can be used on the face and also on the body so try as much as possible to avoid this sunscreen around your eye area now it is also important to note that if you have a damaged skin barrier if you had a bleached skin maybe you're trying to like repair your bleached skin um, and you're looking for good sunscreen to incorporate in your skincare routine this neutrogena um, sunscreen is not a good choice for you okay so this sunscreen is not good for it's not um, advisable to be applied on a damaged skin or on a bleached skin okay this is something you need to take into consideration now talking about damaged skin and bleached skin if maybe you are um, looking for a way you can actually like repair your damaged skin or your bleached skin i have actually filmed a video yes where i actually explained in details and also recommended skincare ingredients um, for both face care and body care these ingredients that i actually recommended to you will help you to like repair and heal like your damaged skin or your bleached skin so i will leave the link of that video in the description box so you can follow that link and when you're done watching this video you can follow that link in the description box to check out that video now coming to skin type which um skin type is this sunscreen best for so this sunscreen is good for people with normal skin and dry skin okay i'm um, not i said only normal skin and dry skin so if you have a sensitive skin like i talked about that this sunscreen stings the eyes and this sunscreen has fragrance in it 
So if you have a sensitive skin, most of the time if you have a sensitive eyes and um, maybe you, you, you don't want sunscreen that will start stinging your eyes, then this sunscreen is not good for you. Now, if you have an oily skin, acne prone skin, combination skin, this sunscreen is, will also not be suitable for you. The reason why is because this sunscreen is thick, like it is very moisturizing. So also you don't want a sunscreen that will make you like, feel too oily on your skin. So this is the reason why this Neutrogena sunscreen it is best for people with normal skin and dry skin. Now for the size of this sunscreen, this sunscreen comes in an 88 ml size so yes this is the size um, of this sunscreen now the next sunscreen on my list is the bioray uv rich war 3 essence sunscreen so this sunscreen contains an spf of 50 plus in it and pa4 plus in it okay so this bioray sunscreen it's a very popular sunscreen i mean almost everybody have heard about this bioray sunscreen and i cannot be mentioning good sunscreen for people with color and i'm not going to mention this bioray sunscreen this sunscreen is very popular this sunscreen is very good for people with color that is people with dark skin or caramel skin complexion because this sunscreen will not leave a white cast on your skin this sunscreen will not like make you look purple and yes this sunscreen is also good for any other skin type okay if you're light skin dark skin any skin um uh, um complexion that you have this bioray sunscreen is perfect for you okay now for the key ingredients in this sunscreen this sunscreen contains glycerin in it this sunscreen contains hyaluronic acid in it and this sunscreen also contains um sodium hyaluronate in it now this sunscreen is also a chemical sunscreen now for the consistency of this sunscreen this sunscreen has a lightweight consistency yes and because and this sunscreen actually like absorbs well into the skin that is when you apply this sunscreen on your skin the sun the, um, the consistency of this sunscreen is very lightweight and it's really really high um, absorb well into the skin now this sunscreen is also hydrating to the skin and this is something i love about the sunscreen and this sunscreen does not leave your face looking shiny okay so i've actually made use of this sunscreen before okay um this sunscreen is very very hydrating it uh, blends well into the skin and when you apply this sunscreen on your skin your skin doesn't look like shiny you know um all those greasy feeling no this sunscreen doesn't like leave your skin looking shiny now this sunscreen has a mild alcohol scent in it okay um but this um, alcohol scent that is found in this sunscreen it doesn't last for a long time yes and when you apply this sunscreen on your skin you start noticing that um this alcohol scent is nowhere to be found so you only notice this alcohol scent when you like open up this sunscreen okay so that is when you only notice this alcohol scent but once you've applied it into your skin then the alcohol scent it disappears like it is nowhere else to be found again now another thing i love about the sunscreen is that this sunscreen does not sting the eye and it doesn't peel okay so if you're looking for a good sunscreen that you make use of and you don't want it to sting your eyes or peel on your skin because i know sometimes it can be frustrating when you apply a sunscreen that before you know the sunscreen starts peeling so this um Biore sunscreen does not sting the eye and neither does this sunscreen like um Pew. so this is just a video of a dark skinned lady also applying this bio ray sunscreen so you can understand uh, uh, and also you can actually know how the sunscreen actually applies well into the skin this is the biore uv aqua rich spf 50 a water-based sunscreen with hyaluronic acid that instantly absorbs into your skin for a sheer finish with no white cast i've literally heard so much about japanese skincare so i'm super excited to try this out Simply apply to your skin on top of your daily moisturiser and apply generously 15 minutes before heading out in the sun. So the first thing I'm noticing is that it literally has zero casting. And just look how glowy my skin looks and it feels super hydrated too super high protection this is an spf 50 and it also says that you can wear it underneath your makeup so if you're the sort of person who likes to wear your spf before you apply your makeup this is definitely a product you're gonna love i definitely see what all the hype was about in japan and this is going to be a staple in my skincare routine so as you can see from this video now that this sunscreen actually blends well into the skin it doesn't leave a white cast on the face now another thing again about this biore sunscreen is that this sunscreen can be used under makeup like i talked about that this sunscreen doesn't peel okay so if you want a good sunscreen that you make use of and you can also apply your makeup and it will not start peeling or you know start making your makeup look um, funny or you know annoying then this biore sunscreen is a nice one okay it doesn't like um peel and it's very very good under um, makeup now for skin type this sunscreen is good for all skin types so if you have a normal skin oily skin acne prone, as a matter of fact it is so good for people with oily skin acne prone skin combination skin sensitive skin 
it is so perfect for people with those skin type so normal skin this sunscreen is also very good for people with normal skin so dry skin you can also make use of it now coming to the size of this sunscreen this sunscreen actually comes in three sizes yes you probably have seen the tiniest sizes and the middle size and, and the bigger size so the three sizes ranges between 50 and gram so the tiny size is 50 gram then it also has um, 70 gram and this sunscreen also has 105 gram so these are just the three ranges um of this um biore um sunscreen now that you know some good sunscreens that you can actually try out if you have a dark skin or a caramel skin complexion now it is also very important that you know and understand what um, are the right skincare products for you to make use of in your skincare routine now it is not advisable that you go ahead making use of products that people with light skin complexion actually make use of because some of these products that people with light skin complexion or maybe me uh, you know i have a light skin complexion some of these products that i might be making use of if you a dark skin or a caramel skin makes use of these products is you might end up like damaging your skin complexion or maybe you know these products will now like change your skin complexion so because of this i have actually filmed a video okay where i explained in details and also gave um skincare products recommendation for people with caramel skin and this skincare products recommendation is both for um face care products and body care products so you can follow the link over here to check out that video so loves i'll see you all in my next video bye